All right, guys. Um, here's uh, how far I got. Pretty much everything's installed. Um, here is the. I don't know if you can see this. So uh, here's the water pump, the Vitune water pump. It's all hooked up uh, all, with all the all the wiring and uh, everything. Here is the front mount intercooler uh, with the. Uh, all the hoses connected so uh, front mount is uh, hooked up I uh, got the battery back in uh, the intake in here's the surge tank it's, uh, it's all hooked up um, and the inlet the supercharger pulley is installed um, the belts are rewrapped got the 1000 cc injectors in uh, plug and play, uh, nothing to report there. Uh, J37 throttle body is good. Yeah, so pretty much I'm done. Um, Vit sent me a uh, base map that um, I just uh, uh, flashed onto the ECU. So uh, I'm going to take it easy. I'm not going to get on it yet. Uh, so uh, yeah, pretty much I'm done with it. I just have to uh, put the front bumper back in, put the hood on, and uh, pretty much, pretty much, I could drive it. Some issues that I came uh, across are um, these these brackets. Um, the bumper won't fit on there um, because um, that part right there where I uh, mark it protrudes out too much, so it's preventing the bumper to, from going in. Yeah, so uh, that needs to be uh, cut off or shaved off a bit in order to uh, install the uh, front bumper. Um, another thing that um, I should mention is that with the uh, Vitune uh, inlet, uh, if you're using the P2R throttle body or the adapter, um, it's going to uh, hit the vacuum bar up here. Hopefully you can see that. Um, I had to bend it outward so that um, uh, the P2R throttle body would uh, be able to be installed um, as you can see here I could probably uh, bend it outward a little bit more so that I could put the hose all the way in so that's one well, that's another thing um, third thing is that um, as you can see here the surge tank it's uh, held on with uh, zip ties. It's because um, the surge tank has to be uh, oriented this way. And um, as you can see, the bracket is uh, mounted here. But um, the holes to mount uh, the surge tank onto the brackets on this side. So. Um, we tried to uh, flip it around. We tried to uh, put the surge tank on this side, but it'll um, it won't fit because of the ECU and because of the intake. So um, that's why it's a zip tie right now. It's kettle rigged. Um, other than that, um, it should work. So I'm gonna figure out a more permanent solution other than zip ties to this. But uh, for now, this is how it's gonna be run. Um, also with the skunk 2 intake since it comes out at an angle like this rather than um, straight through like the hybrid racing um, the coupler is going to be all weird like this it's uh, it's not going to be um, like straight so that's that's why my, my coupler is all weird and angled like this so um, if you have a, the hybrid racing uh, should be much easier because um, the supercharger uh, would come straight out like this and the intake would just follow through over here because the battery would be, would be uh, relocated um, lower and the intake would just go straight through here so that's that's one bad thing about the Skunk 2 it's, uh, it's made more for um, the RBC manifold because it's angled upward rather than the straight out 
So that's one thing to consider if you're uh, considering a 3.5 inch intake. Yeah, other than that, um, everything's good. Uh, all the, the fuel injectors are in. Uh, no fuel leaks. Um, yeah, everything looks good. All I gotta do now is just um, cut these uh, brackets so that uh, I can put the front bumper on and um, put the bumper on and the hood and drive it. So, uh, all right, guys. Uh, this is an update. And uh, stay tuned. And I'll do a more uh, more thorough video later on. Thanks.